What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great week so far, getting ready for Halloween coming up here on Thursday. I want to do a video on the top five fragrances from Bodicea uh, that's in my collection that I plan on wearing this fall. If you saw my shorts video, I had four on there and I just had to bring Green Sapphire along for the ride. It is something that is a little bit more versatile, something that I've wore during spring and summertime. And uh, now that we're getting into the fall, some of the notes of Green Sapphire really fall into that category with the pine, get a little bit of sweetness from the raspberry, uh, but it's really the strong note of the cedar wood and pine in here. I mean, this is a great fragrance for spring or summer because it is light enough and it's got the woods, a little bit of the creaminess from the sandalwood, but guys, this fragrance, it's definitely something for me that's more versatile, something you can wear during the entire year. And uh, especially with the notes of pine and cedar wood in here, definitely gives it you know, an, an accessibility to it, especially for fall time, uh, Christmas season with those notes in it. Uh, but it really is just a great fragrance for all year round. It's dense, but it's light and fresh. It lasts a very long time. Got some notes of raspberry and saffron, violet and violet leaves in there. Uh, so again, wonderful fragrance for summer or spring, uh, but definitely something because it's newer, I'm gonna be wearing during the fall and just kind of checking out the vibes of it, seeing how it goes on skin. Uh, just anyone who's smelled this or wore this or been around Green Sapphire knows it's just an extremely, uh, very complex, elusive, something you may not appreciate fully on the first spray or from smelling it out of the bottle, but as it goes on skin and dries down and develops, uh, this is something that people really, really seem to go crazy for. At least on my skin, I know a lot of other people have had a lot of success with Green Sapphire, but it's just a very alluring and complex and mysterious scent. And it's also very versatile, so hard to beat Green Sapphire. One of my favorites from the house. I feel like I say that about all of them, but uh, we'll keep going on here. We got Pearl Moon. Definitely more of a sweet, spicy, kind of skanky fragrance. You know, you do have a very interesting musk and oud note in there. A little bit animalic again, a little bit skanky, but you, uh, you have a lot of floral and sweetness on top of that. You know, you got pineapple, saffron, some other spices in there, uh, nice, nice floral heart note, uh, beautiful notes of patchouli and the dry down of this as well. So between the oud, musk, patchouli, um, very slightly dirty patchouli as well. And, and that may not be a singular note with the patchouli. Uh, that's just kind of how it's blended in there with the musk and the oud. And uh, that's kind of just how it plays off on my skin. But Pearl Moon, again, for that type of fragrance, very sweet, spicy, dense, slightly floral, slightly skanky. Again, I've worn these a couple times just because they were newer during summer. And especially Pearl Moon, Al Seif, and Al Kut uh, really seem to be a little bit too heavy for warmer weather. So Pearl Moon is something I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, wearing just a little bit more when it gets cooler out here. So another great one. Now I have worn this in the summer as well, just like I was saying. So Al Seif, Al Seif is very, very floral and fruity. I believe it has plum, raspberry, rose. If you look at the notes on here, this just has a ton of florals. And with the sweetness on top with the plum and the rose and the, uh, the raspberry in there, really, really beautiful fragrance. I believe it also has oak moss in the base. So it gives it a little bit of a slightly clean green uh, can't really say soapy vibe like vetiver. It's not quite in that direction, but it leans that way with the moss. It gives it a very nice green, earthy, clean background to it. So the florals are not overwhelming and the uh, sweetness from the fruits and the fragrance are not overwhelming. Uh, but even Al Seif with the, uh, the oud note in there, not anything like Pearl Moon, but it does have a little bit of density, a little bit of uh, like woody earthiness and with Al Seif, it's not, like I said, it's not anything like Pearl Moon. You don't get that quite in that like kind of skanky, funky direction. Al Seif is definitely a lot more clean in the base notes. Um, but man, Al Seif is one of those fragrances to where it really just seems to grow on me. A lot of people enjoy it. When I sprayed this, I think it was like a couple days ago, I'll have to check my notes on the, uh, on the fragrance rotation and stuff that I do. But when I sprayed this a few days ago, my son said I smelled like candy. Uh, so that just lets you know how those florals kind of interact with the sweet fruity notes of the plum and the raspberry. Uh, really, really inviting and, and rich, luxurious opening with those florals and the fruits. 
and then you get a little bit more of that kind of Middle Eastern house style with Bodicea on the dry down with the oud, again, moss. I believe this may even have tonka bean in it. I'm not sure. I have to check the notes again. I know Alcut does, uh, but just if you haven't tried Alcif, it's one of my favorite fragrances from them uh, for that type of category for like a fruity floral. So now Alcut is actually the fragrance that I'm wearing right now today. And it's, it's just hard for me to describe how good Alcut is. Uh, when I first smelled it, it did have that maltol note to it. Um, but as I've opened it up and as I sprayed it more, I realized it's really just not as prevalent as I first thought it was smelling it out of the bottle. Very well blended like you would expect from Bodicea. Obviously for the money they're charging for these, they should be using high quality ingredients, which for me at least is very evident when I put them on my skin. And uh, Alcut I think is a very good representation of that because you have a lot of fragrances that are very, very overdosed with the note of Maltol. It can come across as a very musty, burnt caramel sugar. Um, you see that in Baccarat Rouge, Greenwich Village, Tribeca. There's quite a few other fragrances that use it, but those are just the first that come to my mind. And man, Alcut, it has got a very, very unique opening. It's got like, I think, coriander and pimento and lavender. Um, so it's got a very spicy floral base to go with that Maltol, but then it has oud, musk, saffron, guyac wood. I mean, if you look at the base notes of this, it is a very heavy, um, typical Middle Eastern base note. And then, of course, they add the Maltol in there for a little bit of sweetness. And thankfully, it's light enough to where it doesn't overpower or outshine the other notes of all the good things that they put in this. Um, so yeah, Alcut, just because of the Maltol, just the fragrance structure, everything about it for me, it says more for cooler weather, even though, of course, if you look at my fragrance rotation, uh, a lot of these, especially these three here, Pearl Moon, Alcif, and Alcut, I did wear during the summertime because I just got the fragrances in. They were new, and of course I wanted to wear them. Uh, but with all of these in particular, I definitely got more of the vibe that it was gonna be more of a fall time, cooler weather fragrance. And for me personally, I do like kind of setting fragrances aside for the seasons and, and looking forward to wearing them. And it also kind of helps, you know, with just breaking up the seasons and looking forward to wearing different fragrances. So there are certain things I wear year round more than others. And there are certain things that I start saving more specifically for like fall and winter time. So these three are definitely going into that category. And another one, which I do wear year round because I do this as an occasion based fragrance is Tobacco Sapphire. But just looking at the notes in Tobacco Sapphire, this is something that just screams fall time, cold weather, fireplace and a nice drink or a cigar. Um, just very warm spices in Tobacco Sapphire. You've got saffron, incense, mandarin. I believe there's some rose in here as well. Uh, but of course the star in the show for this fragrance is the tobacco and it is the incense and some of the other wood notes that they put in the base for me. Uh, this fragrance, Again, it's, it's always so hard to say what your favorite from Bodicea is. Anyone who's gotten into the house knows that it's, it's almost impossible to choose one because they're all quality. They are different. Um, but for somebody like myself who really enjoys tobacco fragrances, this is just really just such top-notch stuff from the house of Bodicea. And it's really not just the way they blended all the spices and the structure of the fragrance and all those other wonderful things. The really thing that stands out for me in here is just the absolute quality of the tobacco note. You know, anyone who follows my channel knows I've been, you know, working in the tobacco industry for quite some time, even though um, I'm not in that industry anymore. I did used to work at a couple retailers down in South Florida. You know, I was able to try some of the highest end cigars, some cigars that are not even made anymore. Um, you know, you have the 04 Cohiba edition, you know, limited edition. Some people are already considering that to be the cigar of the century, which, you know, of course, we got a long way to go on that, but um, you know, I've definitely been around the block when it comes to tobacco fragrances and, you know, being around quality tobacco and expensive and rare cigars. And this really just has that feeling of a very, very beautiful aged rich tobacco. I'm not going to get into whether it's like a Cuban tobacco or like a Nicaraguan Maduro tobacco, but it's just an extremely high quality note. Um, the tobacco, it's dense, but it's light, so it goes well with all the spices. You know, you can smell the cumin. You can even get a little bit of a hint of that mandarin fruit in the top note. Uh, but for me, what really stands apart is the wood notes, the incense, and the tobacco here on Tobacco Sapphire. 
and it is just an, just like all of these, um, but this is just a very, very developmental, long lasting, and just a very friendly and easy fragrance to get into. Even if you're not really into niche perfumes, um, some of these are a little bit tougher. Some of these take a little bit more of a seasoned nose to really appreciate what's going on. Uh, Tobacco Sapphire for me, even if you're just getting into perfume or cologne in general and you have the money and you have an occasion, you know, and you want to splurge, this would be one of the best fragrances you can get if you like these types of tobacco and incense fragrances. So, guys, a lot of stuff from the house of Bodicea the Victorious. No, I have absolutely not tried everything from the house. There's a lot of other good ones that would go on this list um, just from looking at the notes on their site. I think Nebulous would be wonderful for fall. That one's also like $1,800. So if someone wants to you know, send me a sample or a bottle of that, that'd be wonderful. Um, but there's, there's just a lot of stuff from the house of Bodicea. And I just looked at their website again, and it just may be you know, where I'm at in America. Let me know if it's the same for you guys in UK. Uh, but they took a lot of their old fragrances off. Like I can't find Alcut, Alcif, or Pearl Moon on their website. And they seem to have a lot of other stuff kind of on there. So I think when I last checked, there was only 40 something fragrances. When I first got into Bodicea, I took notes and went through almost, you know, it was a hundred and something fragrances they had on their website and kind of narrowed it down to, you know, 10 or so, give or take on which ones I really wanted to purchase. So very interesting. Uh, Bodicea seems to be going through some changes right now, whether that's with stock or just updating their website. Uh, but it looks like they are starting to phase out perhaps some of their older fragrances. So maybe a good time. Um, for you guys to go buy some things like this that may not be over on their website anymore. Um, another one I was interested in purchasing that I haven't seen um, was, I believe it was Carbon Sapphire. I don't think that's on their website. Carbon Sapphire would be another one good uh, for this time of year and fall time. Dasman is another strong like oud, rose fragrance. And a lot of these, I mean like Alcif is an oud and rose fragrance. So they do a lot of that, obviously, because that's very quintessential to the Middle Eastern perfumery market. And they have a lot of different versions of oud and rose fragrances. So let me know some of your top five from Bodicea that you're gonna be wearing for fall time. Very interested to see, you know, what people put down in the comments of what they're gonna be wearing from this house for fall time. So I'm looking forward to hearing from that from you guys and I'll be seeing you soon with some more videos, all right? Bye.